We are live. Well, you and I are, aren't we? Um, so we have to apologise for tonight. We didn't have an official live Q&A um, because Stephen was a... What do you call it? A wall. Here we are. So naturally tonight I don't have anyone to bounce my banter off. El Lopez, you're in there first. Happy days. So I'll just have to talk to my puppy. And she, she is here, trust me. Come here. Come here. No? Um, all alone today, Rab Fernando. Yep, I'm just gonna have to man up and just do this all by myself. Gina's on there as well. Warren Franklin. I don't think I've seen your name before. To be fair, You're quite new. Uh, Franco Sake. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh wow, Gerardo Espidio. Miss G. Hiya. Alana. Hiya, Rab. Hey, stud. Where is crack on Friday? Terry's there. Even Rab. Cheers from cold Winterville. Man, that sounds like Sonic like Game of Thrones. Glenn Roebuck, happy days. Where is your mate? Where is my mate? He's in Edinburgh, actually. Edinburgh, isn't he? He went to Edinburgh without me. Um, I, I was invited, to be fair. Um, San Francisco, howdy. Um, rab, rab, rab. New to channel, live from Canada, Warren. Happy days. Welcome to Canada. Now, Warren, there's normally two of us... Um, my sidekick is in Edinburgh tonight um, at an event. I was meant to go to the event, but I bailed. Nala is her name, that's right. You coming up here? You coming up here? You want to come up here? Oh. Wait, I'll see if I can get up. Oh, that's better. There we go. That's my girl. See? You're famous. Look, you're on TV. Oh. You only need to have happy days. What you do this evening, hanging with the pup pretty much. That's just what I do. Just keeping it real, you know, by the fish tank that's got no fish in it. Damn, she's got huge. Um, yeah, she's getting pretty big. Um, Holly with the unicorns. <laughs> happy days. And not gin tonight, Terry. I'm actually living up posh. Got some Prosecco. Um, yeah. I'm just too gangster for this stuff. Uh, what was the event? Well, we've actually got a massive event on the 22nd. Uh, it's the Holland and Cooper opening. And Steve went to the friends and family. Um, but my wife is heavily pregnant, so she wasn't game for it. So I would have been the third wheel. And I was going to go. And then I could be bothered. I was like, nah, I'll, just, I'll just wait till the 22nd. So, Oh, it's not wine, Fernando. It's not even as cool as wine. It's just Prosecco, which is what... It's almost like a cheap champagne, right, I think, isn't it? Sparkling wine. I haven't tried it yet. Rab, tell us about the books you wrote. Ooh, I don't know if I've had enough of this cheap champagne yet. Um, I wrote children's books and young adult books a long, long time ago. Feels like just yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, they did really, really well. Um, I've, I'm supposed to finish them. There's, there's a series of five that I did plan, and I done, I completed three of them and yeah <gasps> yeah Polly that's your wee pal now that's right I think she actually likes you more she does me were they sci-fi yes Glenn they were young adult sci-fi I guess which yep I right, just wanted to let you know you have totally transformed your body from your first Q&A yeah I was a tubby little monkey there wasn't I <laughs> it's funny because if you actually go back to our original videos last year um, not long after my daughter was born I stopped training for a while so I'd be got really out of shape, like, it was like, pfft. so just training regularly makes a difference, it's always a good start. Um, has it been odd to talk to yourself? Well, I'm not, I've got my dog, and I'm talking to all you guys. Uh, where's Pennywise? Pennywise will turn up, I'm sure he will. Creepy bugger, creepy bugger. I think Penny. I actually think Pennywise is, um, remember that same night we had problems with, who was it? It wasn't Freddy Krueger because we joked and said Freddy Krueger will come. It was someone else, and I think it's I think he's got the same accounts. But to be fair, he's behaved since on his Pennywise account. I'm sure it's the same person. I'm sure it's. I think was it Mike Myers? No, it was another killer in one of the movies. That was up to no good. Benjamin says hi, Rab. Happy days, Marcel Martins. Good, good. Yep, the shaky shaky bottles. I'm not actually tasted it yet. Mm. Jason Voorhees. That was it. That was it. Yeah, he was up to no good and then he came back on as somebody else. But to be fair, he's behaved since then. 
Any tips for someone who's been on vacation and might have put on a bit of weight? Uh, my first go to um, when being on vacation is, first of all, get back, obviously. I try and go low carb the first week and I try and do a lot of cardio. Cardio and ab work. The reason for it is cardio, to burn off the excess fluid. And the ab work just makes you feel trim across the middle. So right away, you feel better. So do that the first week and then you'll be good to go. Um, that's the go to. Let me just see. Hey Rab, did you ever receive the painting I made of you guys? Yes, Rick, on last week's show, if you go and check it out, we gave you a shout out and we even showed the painting. So um, last week's show, which was called... Christ, we do so many. That wasn't Topless Cheese. Topless Jenga, maybe? You need some elderflower liquor for the Prosecco. Yes, Terry, I actually do have some somewhere, but I didn't want to be too badass. Kenneth Larson, I hate cardio. Eh, power walking counts as cardio. Put some layers on, um, get really, really warm. Just get outdoors, just go boom. You never got a shout out. Damn it, Jim, we always give you a shout out. You and your hammer. Rab, can we do some workouts on holiday? Lifting a drink, for example. Of course you can, Bobby. Happy days. Stephen Fodlingham, hello, Rab. On your own? No, no, Stephen's right next to me. Can you not see him? He's, he's like, he's right, right there. <laughs> You know, see him? No, no. You're losing it, so you're low. Yeah, topless Jenga was last week. Do you guys come to USA? Yes, we do have a USA tour planned. We're just not got it sorted yet, but we'll get there. Not for the Third Rock DVDs. I could have sworn Stephen did give you a shout out, damn it, Jim. Could have sworn he did because it's him that was watching them. I remember, I mean, it was age. I mean, that was a while ago you sent them, right? Um, and yeah, because I remember it struck a whole conversation. I think it was on one of the Q&As, Jim. Um, it was on one of the Q and A's because it struck a whole conversation to do with I can't remember the actor's name, the main guy with the thingy here, but yeah, definitely did give you a shout out, sir. Definitely. Do you train people on weekends? Used to train people on weekends. Um, don't anymore. Just, just don't. In fact, just up to this year, we used to have our boot camp on a Saturday morning. The people used to come to. Um, John Lithgow. That's the one. Sorry, sorry, John. Procrastinating here. Will the family be coming to on the US tour? Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Gina, because we just get homesick. I'd miss my wee lass. So, yeah. Joey Gallon, hey Coach Rab, best wishes, buddy. Thank you, Joey. You're the man. And your Instagram is awesome. Uh, Rabbi is hot. I love his eyes, his facial hair, and plus he's hairy. So, Daniel, there's a really funny thing on Twitter today. <laughs> I shared it on my Facebook because it made me laugh. Apparently, I've been voted the sexiest man in the world. No, 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 sexiest man alive. <laughs> go, go and check out our Twitter, because we, we tweeted it again, and it's on my Facebook. Some, somebody that wrote a blog. And who am I to, who am I to like, uh, question that? Obviously, the person knows what they're talking about. You know. It's actually a well-put-together blog. Nobody's ever written that about me before, so... Um, yeah, happy days, eh? Sorry, my bitch is getting out of hand here. William and Gusta, seven amigos, and to a... I'm going to just go, hey, you buddy, up early for work and then away to the rugby, so we'll say night. <gasps> no, Holly, it's only like, well, why do you know what time it is? Was it 10 or something? Part-timer. Rab, what school did you go to? I went to a school called Glen Office High School, actually. Um, pump, traps are looking pumped tonight. My Tom Hardy's. Nala Pry has the best toys. Yeah, she does. She likes this one because this is the one I actually wrestle with her with, usually. It's a pull it and wrestler and slammer and all that kind of thing. I do have a workout question. I have rounded shoulders. How can I build them? How build them up? Or do you want to stop them being rounded? Let me know if you want to straighten them up or, you know, get them. No, well, no dog bones. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had to laugh with the dog bones was it was them. They're actually that non rawhide stuff. They're really these fancy dog bones. And the amount of comments in the video that were you, know, you get kind of Nala, sit on last. You know you get these there's always sure as fate, whenever you make a video about anything, there's always a kind of poindexter that'll say, Oh, rawhide is bad for you. Almost like um the happiness police that you'll have seen from Monday. <laughs> And they actually wear the non rawhide bones, but there was somebody in the comments like, "You should not feed your dog rawhide." And it was all this. Fucking, there was a whole bunch of them. You're like, oh, relax yourself. Rap, have you ever been on TV in the UK? Yes, we were on TV. We were on uh, Superfoods, and I've been on TV a few things, but inconspicuously. I was on Crime Watch once. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, what do you recommend for us older women who suffer too much pain who suffer too much pain to exercise oh Doro 
Um, too, you suffer too much pain to exercise. Oh, that's a tricky one, actually. Hmm. Suffer too much pain to... It depends what level of exercise would, would stimulate the difficulty of pain. Obviously, there's a condition there, and I guess it would be meds to go with it. Um, but suffer too much pain to exercise must mean that you, you're in a lot of pain even moving around. Um, you would, I'm not really sure for that. You'd have to check with a medical practitioner. Um, I've never come across that. What was the name of that show where the lady had people poop in a box and she told them what they were eating wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I can visualise the lady that took the the show. Um, I forget the name of the show, though. It wasn't You Are What You Eat, was it? Maybe? Um, when are you going to add your family on your workout? Love your man, Kios. It's the Kilty Coaches show, Robert. Uh, we try and keep our families out of it, to be fair. We sometimes have the kids in there and their dogs, but other than that, we keep our families out of it. So It's more of a um, protection thing, really. Rav, one of the things I like about you is you seem very easy going and you're very humble. You're not afraid to admit your imperfections. Nobody's perfect, unfortunately. Except for Batman. He's pretty perfect. Hey, Rav, it's good to see you again. Joker, it's good to see you all. My bitch is out of control. I've got the wife beater vest on and my bitch is out of control. I mean, what am I going to do? I've got to put her in her place, haven't I? Bed. Oh, look at that. She didn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Oi. Bed. Go on. No. I like that. As I've said previously, none of the women in my life listen to me. Ever. So she's probably going to knock this uh, camera over. And that Tom Hardy actor, perfect. Yes, Tom Hardy is pretty awesome. Man, I saw this thing for him when he was in... Because he's training to be Venom. And he's in some shape, actually. Um, that's what's awesome about Tom Hardy. He's like... Um, Charlize Theron, they're actually two of my favourite actors. It's funny because when they're in Mad Max, I don't think they got on with each other. Um, but they're my two favourite actor and actresses, or actors, um, because they transform their body if they have to. Um, Tom Hardy's bulked right up if he needed to, got ripped if he needed to. Um, he's not afraid to, you know, go to town on it. Um, same with Charlize Theron. I don't know if you've ever, ever seen the movie Monster. Like, she... Oh, man, she was ugly in that. And she's so beautiful normally. I think it was interesting because I think she, sh I don't know if she shaved or, or whether they just covered up her eyebrows, but the minute you lose your eyebrows, you kind of lose kind of definition to the face and changes everything about you because eyebrows kind of top off your face, don't they? They kind of, you've got whatever you've got to do and then it's your eyebrows. It's like putting the lid on something. The minute there's no, no eyebrows there, your face goes on forever. Here you. Two seconds, going to sort my bitch out. Right, bed. Go on. Here you go. See, I think that's the key in life, is keep your bitches in your cage and lock the door at night and only letting them out if they're good. That sounds pretty bad, right? Um, she also experienced a dancer, yep. Um, got an idea for a little fun game since I'm a man down. I'm, I'm solo tonight, so I've got this new game. It's called What a Dick. So basically, you give me a name of someone. Now it cannot be anyone political because I don't like getting political. I can't be bothered with that. And nobody. Um, oh Sarah, tell Stephen I miss him. That's Stephen Sarah then saying or Rab. So tell him I miss my buddy. I don't tell Stephen, but you're my favourite. I've just said it live now, so Glenn, now everybody knows I'm your favourite. So anyway, back to the game, back to the game. You mention someone famous, I'll say whether they're a dick or a good person, but you can't say anyone political and you can't say anyone that's like mainstream in the media right now because I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use Kevin Spacey as an example because he's a very obvious penis. Um, so we're going to start off Bono. I'm going to say what a dick. What a dick. I'm not a fan of Bono. I like the music, don't like him. Um, hit me with another one. Sandra Bullock. What a gal. Yeah, she's awesome. Bjork. Oh, I can't remember Bjork. Bjork. Is Bjork the singer? Oh, help. I can't remember. Um, yes, Stephen, what's going on here? Man down. Stephen Seagal. I can't answer that one because he's just recently been in the news for being naughty. Cher. I'm going to say Cher. Uh, I'm gonna. Ugh, I'm gonna have to. I, I can't not answer. So I'm gonna say share. 
what a dick, because she's had too much work done, and that's terrible. Uh, Mickey Rourke, what a guy. Um, Stephen Clark, what a dick. <laughs> Just kidding, what a guy. Taylor Swift, oh, Taylor Swift, let me think. Actually, I'm going to say, what a girl, because she actually stood up to the giants of, I think it was Apple, and said that she wouldn't have her music put on there, so good for her. Ollie Murs, what a guy. Uh, Pink, what a gal. Will Smith, what a guy. Uh, Tilda Swinton, I actually don't know who that is. Morgan Freeman, what a guy. Madonna, I'll give her that one, yeah. What a gal. Uh, get your top off. Steven, you're being so rude. Uh, Mike Myers, what a guy. What a legend, actually. My bitch is coming back. She's obviously just misbehaving. Hey, I don't remember saying you could come back. Go. Or up. Right. All right. She nearly left my kilt there. Yada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. What a gal. <laughs> Sheena Easton. Don't know who that is. Liam Neeson. I'm going to say, what a dick. Because I heard a story that when he was on the set of Star Wars, he was, um, Ewan McGregor was making lightsaber noises and he got annoyed at him. So I'm going to say that one. Boom. Stephen Perry, what a guy. Taylor Swift again, do you know, we've already had that one. Um, it's Holly saying step hen, what a dick. Kanye West, definitely, what a dick. Oh, oh, what a dick. I don't know who Sheena is, turn in your Scots cars. Don't know who Sheena is, is Easton is. Oi, oi, lol, you're nothing without your wingman. <gasps> Troll, Stephen. My wingman flew without me tonight. Good night, Nala. What's happening to Nala? She's here. I'm going to choke her out. You're right. You're right. James McAvoy. What a guy. Uh, your soul tonight, Coach Rob. Where's Coach Stephen? Um, Joey, Coach Stephen, literally... Um, I can't even make up a story fast enough. <laughs> He's at an event and I chose not to go. Dwayne Johnson, what a guy. Sean Corey, what a guy. James Franco, what a guy. Marlon Monroe, what a slut. <gasps> I didn't see that, did I? Did I see that? <laughs> I didn't say that out loud, did I? <laughs> uh, Tala Miro, I don't know if that's a person. How are you, brother? I'm doing not too bad. <laughs> haggis, do you like haggis? I do like haggis, actually. It's quite tasty. Cheers from Paris, from your Costa Rica friend, Tom Hardy. I just got an erection. Moving on. <laughs> Don Johnson. Oh, Christ, he was a... I think he was an American football player and an actor, wasn't he? Can't remember. Don is Kim Kardashian. What a bitch. Can't stick that. Thor, Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Could be, uh, yeah, I'm going to say what a guy, because he's funny, he's funny. What about Thorne? What a guy. <laughs> Clint Eastwood? What a guy. That guy is a bit of a legend. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Donna Summer RRP. Did Donna Summer die? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom. Dirk Diggler. <laughs> what a guy. Tom Hanks? What a guy. Miami Vice married to Melanie Griffin. Don Johnson. Oh, that's just before my time, Bobby. Oh, who's, who's died? Are you Paul? Mm. Colin Farrell. Um, what a guy. A bit wild, but apparently Colin Farrell's... Uh, well, you can't see it because the camera's here, but he's well endowed. We've had Madonna. Uh, Donna Summer died in 2011. She was my favourite singer. Uh, Ellen, what a gal. Um, yeah. Are You Paul is a famous track, you know, happy days. Stephen Clark, what a dick. Coach Rab, uh, Coach Rab, what a guy. Apparently he's the sexiest man alive. So I, I, I read that on Twitter somewhere, so it must be true, right? Uh, Tina Turner, uh, what a gal. Maggie Smith, oh Maggie Smith, yeah, what a gal. Are you going to let me have my... Harry <laughs> You can't do Trump because it can't be any um, political people. The Hulk. Um, 
What a guy. Because you how can you not like the Hulk, right? It's not his fault. Henry Cavill, what a guy, especially for the man for Uncle. I just watched that um, recently. Uh, Cherry, I would never dare say anything against Cherry. Helly Hansen, what a guy. Uh, William Wallace, what a guy. Julia Roberts, um, hmm, Julia Roberts, yeah, what a gal, I guess. You can give characters if you want. Harry Potter, oh, that's a good one. Harry Potter's a wee dick. I didn't like him. I like Ron Weasley, and I don't mind, uh, what's the chick's name again? What is the chick's name again? I was going to call her Henrietta, it's not. Christ, what's, what's the wee chick called? Willem Dafoe, um, what a guy. Leonardo DiCaprio, what a guy. What's the chick's name in Harry Potter called? Hermione, that's the one, yeah. But Harry, he's just a wee dick. I, I can't stand him. Whoopi Goldberg, sure. We've had Taylor Swift. Hermione again. Um, send a hug to Brazil. Two seconds, I'm just going to package that up for you and post it. Andrea Bocelli. Rosie O'Donnell. I've not seen Rosie for a while, actually. I can't remember the last time I saw her in anything. Actually, probably watched. Last time I watched her was probably in Flintstones, actually. So I'll give her what a gal because that's a decent movie. Eva Green, Eva Green. Christ, I can't think who that is. You're off J.K. Rowling Christmas card list. J.K. Rowling, what a dick. <laughs> she's too political for my life. Or she's got a bit too political. I can't be asked if people do that. James Dean. James Dean, what a guy. Uh, George Clooney, what a guy. Uh, J.K. Rowling's aces, oh yeah, her work is fantastic. I just think she's just gone a bit... You know when... I don't know, She, I, I think she wrote a fantastic series. I think she still fudged up the ending, I really do. She wrote, she made, created this fantastic world with amazing characters and then it just didn't really play all in. I didn't like what she, the way that she rolled with it. I genuinely don't know, I don't think she knew where she was going to go with the story. Whereas ultimately when you write a series you should know pretty much where it's going right from the word go. I don't think she was 100% sure where it was going. I, didn't, I wasn't keen on it. I think she lost her way a wee bit. Um, but, eh, well, that's my opinion. And I mean, that'll do it. Hi, Rab, what's with all the names? Oh, Patricia, you've come in late. We're playing What a Dick. So basically you give me a name of someone that's not political or not recently in the news. And... Um, tell you if I like them or not basically. Daniel, can I ask you another workout question? No. Of course you can. Rhett Butler. Quite frankly, Gina, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Come on, that's cool, right? Barbara Streisand, Catherine Tate. Oh, Kim Wilde, Kim Wilde. What a gal. Catherine Tate, funny as hell. Tomas Schiffermaker. Oh, I recognise the name and I can't think who it is. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Danny boy, Danny boy. That just reminds me of Predator, actually. Do I have any tattoos? I actually have a W on each cheek, so every time I touch my toes, it says, oh, wow. I've used that joke so many times. Joe Brand? Um, I'm not really into Joe Brand, I'll be honest. I wouldn't go as far as to say she's a dick, but I'm just not into her. Sylvester Stallone's a legend. <coughs> I can't remember what you're laughing at. Probably my non-funny joke that I've used a hundred times. If, you've, if that's the first time you've heard it, I rock on. Um, <laughs> the tattoo. <laughs> Beauty creep. What a gal. She's actually really funny. You're going to steal that joke, Ryan. <laughs> well, Ryan, if you want to make it just a little bit cleaner, you can say it's an M on each cheek and be like, Mom. Uh, what's your favourite movie? Do you know, we get this ass now and again and it just kind of... My favourite movie changes all the time. But I think overall, it's I love Star Wars Episode 3. It's up there. Um, I like Terminator 2, Predator. Depends on my mood, and it'll change all the time. But ultimately, it's I think I've got a top 10. I could never really say. Sigourney Weaver. What a gal. This Sigourney Weaver's awesome. She's like the quintessential heroine. I said that right, didn't I? Yeah. Man, yeah, Sigourney Weaver's cool. She was badass. She should have done more. Uh, what's your kind of music right now? I'm actually listening to a lot of movie soundtracks right now, so kind of um, Star Wars Episode 3, or do you mean um, Jedi? 
I meant episode three is in Re- Revenge of the Sith. What's in the tank next to me? <laughs> There's a funny story there, Joey. There's meant to be fish. There was fish. Um, there's not fish anymore. And there's actually two bottom feeders left there that refuse to die. So they're actually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And they're feeding off their own filth. It's incredible. Because like we haven't really fed them and they're getting bigger and bigger. I don't know if one's ate the other one, but certainly there's uh, there's two in there. Does anyone want a fish? No? Hey, Ryan's saying you're listening to Christmas music yet. Not until December, Ryan. That's a cardinal sin, son. It's, you just don't do it. It's, it's, like a, it's like a watershed. Once it hits the 1st of December, it's fine. If you hear it, I mean, what will be in November the... What will be the 11th, even? I don't know. Well, bottom feeders are fish, too. Kind of creepy, though. Ah, oh, they're ugly buggers, Joey. Like, really, really ugly. I bought them to keep the tank clean. And when all the other fish died, just because my lack of care... Well, I did try and... It was because I added this thing and I didn't get the dilution right and these are the old died. It was a lesson for my daughter though about the circle of life and all that jazz, you know. Because when they died, obviously I put them on toast and we ate them. That's not true. I didn't eat them. They went down the toilet, but still. Yeah, two left and they won't die so we can't get rid of the tank. It's a pretty big tank as well. Hmm. Are you on the dark side of the force? Always. Or sometimes. Are you at your Tom Hardy level yet? I'm trying to get there, Patricia. Trying to get there. It's it's coming, it's coming. But Tom Hardy's pretty badass. Uh, Ryan teaches the coaches. Well, I think... Kill you, but I need to wear a kilt. Nah, Ryan, if you come to us, we told you, we'll give you the Outlander workout. So you'll have to do the... We'll put you through your paces. That's what we're going to give you. Uh, Baby Jane, favourite movie of this year? Ooh, what have I seen this year? Favourite movie of this year? I can't remember what, kind of what I've watched this year. Gerard Butler, what a guy. You look like you're there already. Oh, Patricia, half of my own heart. Your voice is so sexy. How's it hanging? Small, shriveled and always to the left. <laughs> That's a movie quote, I'm just saying. I've not been to see um, Thor yet. Um, Stephen has he said it was excellent he said it's really really funny so Coach Rab tell us some on location stories ooh on location stories hmm, I'm trying to think there's been a couple of times where we've nearly been caught doing our old crack on method whipping off the kilt there was a bad one we were up Canoe Hill and I was actually a young girl I say young girl she was 18 but I don't know if she'll have seen very many naked men in that age I'm not sure, maybe she had, maybe she had, I don't it doesn't matter. But we'd literally done a cut, came back on, we're putting our kilts back on, and she came up the hill with her dog, and we're just like... But she didn't seem to notice us anyway, and then she's walking with her dog, and then we're kind of like, just as well she didn't come a couple of minutes earlier. So we wait till she was long gone before cracking on again, because we never got it all in one take, unfortunately. Uh, so that's an on-location story. Um... I know people usually ask us about outtakes, but to be honest, we pretty much do things in one go. Um, rarely we get kind of things wrong or bugger up. It's usually in one, in one go. Have you tried a guy hug before? Yeah, hug my mates. Is that a special hug? Oh, Bradley Cooper. What a guy. He is pretty awesome, actually. Isn't he? I loved him in Limitless. Um, oh, ping. So I'm getting tons of notifications through. Uh, have a good night, Aldoberto. Hugs. Just trying to hold the fort tonight since we were. Was the first ever kilt off whip awkward? Are you not too just always just that comfortable? The first ever kilt off was in 2016 for a charity event, and I don't know, we didn't. It was, it was quite cold because it was September, or kilt timber as we called it. And uh, that wasn't really awkward, you know. Stephen and I have seen each other <laughs> between changing and doing whatever else in the past. It's not really something that we thought about. I won't lie to you, the first couple of times it was a like, kilt off and eyes were just like, eyes as high as you can, do not look down, you know. Whereas now it's a bit more relaxed, you know. Um, you know, I hold his while he's peeing and all that kind of stuff, you know. It's, we're a bit more chilled with it all. <sniffs> Start a rumour there. Are you a morning or night person? Depends. I get more stuff done in the morning, Daniel, and I like getting up in the morning. 
<laughs> where is the ginger? If he's watching, you'll be in trouble now, David. Yeah, I miss boot camp, Terry. Your big block capitals. Yeah, boot camp was fun. Yeah, my dog's dreaming now. Making funny noises. You are much naughtier without your friend. <laughs> I'm unleashed. How do you and Stephen learn video editing? Um, we basically just got iMovie and practiced the shit out of it, basically. Um, took a while. And generally, any time we wanted to do it, we had an idea of what we wanted to do. And we just tried it and played around with it and learned. Um, we were just talking to someone um, earlier on tonight about that, before Stephen headed off. We are speaking to a guy and he was saying how it's interesting nowadays with technology that you wouldn't have to go on a big videographer course. Now, don't get me wrong. If you go on a course, you learn lots of techniques that are amazing, you know, angles and little bits and pieces but ultimately you can piece together with very little training an okay video I mean take Casey Neistat his his YouTube is fantastic his videographer is amazing and that's because he's properly trained you know there's a huge difference when you see the stuff he does you're like yeah he knows what he's doing but for the majority of YouTubers I guess they're just um, I guess they're just doing what we're doing and winging it right and getting a bit of software and doing the best they can so um yeah, pretty awesome, really. I will probably eventually go into a course and become aces at it. May I have a shout out to Largo, Florida? Pretty please, Bobby Graham. Sure, you can have a shout out. Ding, ding, ding. I don't think Stephen is a ginger. Stephen's very much blonde. If you ever stand next to Stephen, he's blonde. It's ever since he grew his beard in, and I think sometimes certain light makes him look ginger. Ever heard of Tank and what? Tank and the Bangers, killer band. I have not. John Woodward the third. Oh, I need to put my um, supercharger on. Oh, two seconds. Bring down. It's amazing how fast the battery depletes when, like, well, when you're on streaming. I miss what he's drinking tonight. Anyone? It's cheap prosecco actually. Um, I just call him Ginger because he hates it. Yes, he does hate it. But David, he takes a note of everybody that ever says it to him. And he's got this list, honestly, he pulled out this book the other day and it was like, and it's like um, I was like, what's that? He's like, the list for deletion. And he's going to work his way through. The ginger's currently on the train on my way home to rugby tackle Rav for going live with me. <laughs> yeah. I was holding the fort. But um, thanks. You know, Stephen doesn't say, thanks Rav for posting that video and holding the fort. He's just like, he went without me. <laughs> A Prosecco sesh, we need one. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would have Prose Prosecco Sesh, why not? Um, Stephen Clark, I hope we get that on camera. <laughs> Did I get to rugby tackle him back? Is, is, is that loud? Would we, lol, Fernando Cruz. I always I say it every time, Fernando Cruz got a cool name. Fernando Cruz, you should be famous with a name like that, Fernando. What's a rugby tackle? Well, if you're familiar that there is a game of rugby that exists, when one player tries to bring down another player, they tackle him in a particular way. It's quite severe, it's quite savage. Like like an American football tackle, but with hands, I guess. Have you kissed a guy before? No. Well, not unless you were like having a laugh or something, but no. How does rugby differ from American football? Well, Gina, keeping it simple, rugby players, I would hazard a guess, are much, much fitter. Um, in the sense that American football stop start now given that I've kind of um, played both I say played both I played rugby but I've mucked around and played American football American football is stop start therefore you can be a lot more explosive um, in each 10-15 second burst so it's like okay you, you get your gear right you want to smash this guy you're going to block this guy you're going to nail this guy blah 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 blah. whereas rugby's constant you know so you bring the man down you get back up you've got to hold the ball you've got to hold the rock etc 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 um, rugby you've got to tackle the man whereas American football you're allowed to use your body as a as a tackling object if you like because you're not allowed to do that in rugby um, but strangely enough and I never ever grasped this you know I watch um, I, I love the NFL I absolutely love it and sometimes in the dying seconds of a game, you know, when they really need to keep the ball alive, they actually pass it, you know. And I know, I believe the rules are making people, you can only have one forward pass and the rest is all got to be side or back or whatever. But it's amazing because the other team doesn't expect it. So when it does happen, they almost always score. 
And why does a coach just come in and just be like, yeah, we're going to change up how we're going to do this in the NFL and this team is going to pass it all the time. Man, this is like... It'd be a, it, teams wouldn't know what to do with them. It wouldn't, wouldn't know what to do with them. Uh, me too, Frank. Sorry, I lost that because I was jabbering away. Somebody doing some nonsense. I don't know what they're saying. Jubba, jubba, jubba. Rab, did you plan sports in high school? Yeah, I played rugby. Some people don't like you both. What do you think about that? Don't really give a damn, to be honest. If you worry about what other people think, you get nowhere in life. Um, some people don't know us, um, so don't like you because of their perception of you. And the ones that do know us, they don't like you, well, oh well, we can't please everyone, right? Rod Rance looks like he dropped his cell phone. Oh, face palm. Greetings from Greece. Having a glass of wine myself over here too. Enjoying your live show. Say hi to Stephen. I will, Chris, when he turns up. <laughs> Have you played American football? Um, played it with friends. Not officially, though. I'd love to be a running back. Love to be a running back. Uh, that's pretty 60s of you at Stephen Perry. What did Stephen Perry say? Uh, what did Stephen Perry say? I missed it. Oh, no. Where's Stephen Perry? If Stephen is ginger, does that make you Mary Ann? <laughs> Hi clan, Anne's on there. Uh, happy days. We we spent a whole afternoon catching up on comments the other day, so if you commented on a video recently, you'll probably get a reply eventually. We fell behind by, big time, so we're on the catch up. There is Anne. Rab, one of the many good things about you is your sincere openness, acceptance to certain jokes and compliments. Everything's funny to someone, right? <laughs> um, hi from Minneapolis. Any snow in Perth yet? Um, not yet, actually. I don't think so. No, no, it's not really that cold yet. But uh, Oh, Rob. Cheers, Rab. Or is that Tom Hardy? Oh, this guy, this guy. I like it, I like it. American football is all about constant tossing a white handkerchief on the pitch. At least that's how it looks to me. American football is pretty cool, though. When you actually grasp the rules, it is pretty cool. When you understand what you're watching. Did you catch up on clan chats? We're getting there with it, Gina. There's quite a lot of stuff going on. Is Anne dogging while she's watching? That's up to you to answer, Anne. Are you dogging? Do you get snow there? We do, Stephen. Um, sometimes we get really bad snow, actually. I say really bad for here. It's just that this place don't know how to deal with it. And we get very, very wet snow. Um... You know, I've been to Canada and I've also been to Finland and it's because it's so cold in those areas you get almost dry snow which you could still technically drive on. Um, but here we get wet snow and it slides and it's, yeah, badass. It's not great. It's a lot icy and nonsense and roads get closed and accidents galore. So, yeah. You guys ever been to Dublin? No, I've been to Belfast, not Dublin. So it's on my to-do list. Uh, how much of Tom Hardy are you? Ooh, I would say I'm 70% Tom Hardy. <laughs> what part of Canada have you been to? I was Winnipeg, so it's in Manitoba. Both you and Coach Steve are pretty well travelled. I'd like to think so. There's more places I'd like to go. Um, are you planning to go overseas anytime soon? Uh, yes, I've actually booked up for Florida next October. And then we also have our American tour, which is going to be... Um, sometime soon we get wet snow in Oklahoma too oh that's right now Where, what's your name again Miss Molly B82 you're the um, you're the subway girl now when I say subway you were the one that commented saying subway stinks but then you were also the one that said you and your other coaches <laughs> you said you stripped down to the bare minimum for going into the subway and I wrote back I want to be at that subway it would be awesome <laughs> So yeah, go go to that subway to Miss B Bolly too. Yep, that's the one. Subway, eat fresh. Uh, guess who's back? Rod Rance. I don't know who you are, but you're back. Rab, you have the coolest voice. I can listen to you all day. Why? Thank you. Why? Thank you very much. What's happening in Florida? Going to Disneyland. Take the wee last to Disneyland. So that'll be good. Subway makes me gain weight. To Minnesota, hmm, I'll have to get on the case there. <laughs> that link you sent on Twitter, come on, that link on Twitter was so funny. Somebody else tagged us in it, and I was sitting with Stephen, and Stephen said, "Did you see that link?" And I was like, "No," and it actually made my day. I was like, "Oh man, that's so funny." 
The Undertaker. What Undertaker, Terry? What Undertaker? The Undertaker? Euro Disney. I've not been to Euro Disney, no. What I like about you is we have very good memory when it comes to your fan comments. Yeah, yeah I remember everything. Well, it's when you see the same comments and same people and you kind of remember and you have a laugh when it happens. So you, you, you remember it. It's like a conversation because when you, you have the comment, you have a bit of a laugh with it. You kind of remember it, so you're like, oh, you know, I'm a bit banter with it. Tokyo, I would love to come to Tokyo. I absolutely love it. In fact, we've had somebody before was giving us donations in, from Tokyo, which was good. So, um, yeah, we definitely have to go there. There's a, one of my clients is trying to do the big six marathons. Uh, the big six, I think they're called. And one of them is Tokyo. So I have to get that on the case. I wouldn't be running the marathon. I'd just be support team or something small. Uh, hold on, this guy's annoying me. Block. Please come. Happy days. Have you seen the new Thor movie yet? Nope, Joker. Stephen has. I have not. I'm not in the case yet. Boom, 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 boom. My bitch has passed out my feet. She's killed. Go to Rye House, best whiskey bar in New York City. Ooh, I'll keep that on. Would you all consider adventures to Arizona? Yes, we would. Home of the Cardinals. That's right, isn't it? Sun Devil, baby. What fish have you got in the tank? <laughs> That's a joke I was saying. The earlier David is their, their bottom feeders. They're, um, two really ugly things. Really ugly things that just refuse to die. They're relentless. I'm actually, I'm getting fond of them now because the fact they won't die. Are you still doing the new protein challenge with your new clan? Um, it's slightly different format now, Rob. Um, they still go for the protein target, but it's um, we don't have weekly calls anymore, so um, the challenges are not quite the same, Rob. But if Rob, if you've got a new protein, because Rob, you did the octopus, if that's right. So Rob was one of our lean formula. Uh, clients previously and did really really well and we did a protein challenge was try something new and uh, he had the octopus that was awesome i'm sure it was rob had the octopus could have sworn it was yeah i'm pretty sure i've never had octopus i'll need to do that sometime yeah there's no fish to see in fact i can see the tail of one of these wee buggers but they're really ugly that's just two bottom feeders i'll be taking you around la la land when you and coach steve visit you can count on it cheers joey what a legend are you comfortable in having so much gay fans? Fans are fans. It doesn't really matter, really. Um, makes no difference to me. Uh, gay, straight, whatever. Any sports or special holiday traditions you can't wait to do this season? Um, I'd quite like to take my daughter to the Winter Wonderland. That would be pretty awesome. Um, Gina's asking, does the Lean Formula not have the weekly FaceTime? No, we changed it to uh, make it cheaper for everyone so they didn't have our... Um, our hourly kind of meet which we did previously for the last two groups so this intake we just did it purely on the google plus group and the app and etc etc so no there's not a weekly facetime for that one uh, somebody asked something uh, i wonder if it would feel odd doing it alone the gun show i need to kind of like have an excuse don't i hmm. wait my bitch is out of control she went that way <gasps> Actually, when I gassed it, she jumped up. <laughs> Did that work? Was that cheesy? Cheesy enough? Why not, eh? Boom! That's right. Welcome to the gun show. I didn't even get a pump on for this one, unfortunately. Oh, natural. Close to the camera. <laughs> Impressive. They weren't loaded, don't worry. Any invitation from Game of Thrones or any, or any movie? Um, no, not yet. I think if I was in Game of Thrones, I'd probably die horrific. I think the mountain would kill me if I was in Game of Thrones. I'd have a small roll and then I'd get my head splatted with a mallet or something. That'd be quite a claim to fame, right? Getting splatted by the mountain. Christ. Mm -hmm. Maybe start applying for extras, right? I'd have to go in my kilt, though. Uh, you could be a king. Yes, I could. Somebody should write a blog where Rab should be king. I'll take that. King of dragons. <laughs> uh, yes, live stream a bit later. I'm not going to... Well, I'm not 
hopefully not going to say anything controversial. Ed Sheeran was in. Yes, yes, that's right, he was, yeah. Uh, Gina, yes, we should have another one. It's either Wednesday or next Wednesday that'll come out. Outlander's filming season four right now in Scotland. Actually, um, I was training a couple of clients and this lady that I met was going to be one of the extras on Outlander. So she had come all the way up to go and film what she thought was going to be filming in Creef. This was on Tuesday there. And she had to then jump in the car and go all the way back to Northumbria or wherever there was they were filming the other bits. Or Cumbernauld. Maybe it was Cumbernauld. Ah, something like that. So poor lady had come all the way up this direction because she was supposed to be filming one place and then got moved. So yeah, she was one of the extras. Ultimately, want to be a star role. And die epically. I'm still only on season one of Outlander. I've got to get on the case with that. Uh, no, it's not red wine. It's uh, it's actually Prosecco. <laughs> Rab could easily play a pirate or a Viking. A pirate. I'm going to say my pirate joke. I'm going to have to say it. It's the only one I can really remember. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. I could be a pirate, right? You could play anything. <laughs> or I could play with anything. <laughs> Were you guys sore after trying ballet dancing? Man, yes, I was actually. Now, where was I sore? I was funny and sore in funny places. And I can't remember where it was. Maybe the inside of the thighs. Are you going to see the new Paddington Bear film? Potentially, yeah. The only thing is when I go to... Because that's Paddington Bear 2, right? When I watched the first one, um, <laughs> I couldn't help but think of Ted. And I was half expecting Paddington to be naughty, or naughtier. <laughs> um, what's Gina asking? Is the Hermitage a bad place? I mentioned it before and got an interesting response. No, the Hermitage is a gorgeous place, Gina. We've actually just filmed an awesome uh, piece up at the Hermitage. But the running joke was because we were trying to think of someone. One of our Lean Formula clients was in Scotland and we were able to hook up. And we're like, what are we going to do with her? And we're like, oh, we'll take her up the Hermitage. And the minute we said that, we burst out laughing because it just seems so inappropriate. And then we're like, right, kind of washed away. And then we're like, right, what else will we? We'll, we'll have a chat, we'll have coffee, and then we'll take her up the Hermitage. And every time we said it, we're like, this sounds really bad. And that became the running joke. So we told our Lean Formula group about it. We said, um, she was she was offline. She wasn't there because she was in, I was thinking she was already in Scotland by that point. And uh we told them so that was the big laugh was whether we took her up the hermitage <laughs> and then to be fair to her we told her the joke as well and she was laughing so it made it sound like it was worse than it was but Prosecco is the new Lambrini Lambrini is like so low ca low low calorie low alcohol you'd have to drink man they used to come in massive bottles Lambrini Lambrini girls are wild I wish I could see you on last London trip I'd be there by the end of this month yeah are you a Wallace and Gromit fan? Yes, I am actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they brought it. What? What's the? Is it Hard Guys? Is that the name of the? Like Hard Guys, but without the H. Is that the ones that make it or something? I can't remember. Where's the whiskey? <coughs> Aye, good point actually. I uh, don't want to hit anything too hard tonight, so I went with prosecco. Mixing it up, keep you on your toes. Wallace, and... poor Wallace died. Really. What, the guy that plays his voice, or... Favourite whiskey? Uh, Glenlivet, that's my favourite whiskey, without fail. Um, someone said, oh, I don't know if that was you, or somebody else was saying their favourite is Lafroig. Lafroig. It was on comments. Clarissa, you love Prosecco. Happy days. Can't go wrong with Prosecco, right? You get some... Uh, Cheap and nasty Prosecco sometimes as well. It all tastes good, right? It's the bubbles. What did your wife think about you trying Bali? Did you do her proud? Um, <laughs> did I do her proud? Uh, I think she was like, yay, well done, you gave it a go. <laughs> um, Rab, do you have a cold? I've certainly got a gold coming on, yeah. I've definitely got a cold coming on. Can you speak any other language? I can barely speak English. You're still going on. I'm still going on, Terry. Always. We drink cheap wine or good wine. We're basically winos. Happy days. Lincoln Omoto. Oh, my dog is dropping bombs. You are so lovely. Why, well, thank you. Apparently I was voted the sexiest man alive today. Whiskey for the cold, yep. What's the best thing about winter in Scotland? Um, 
what I like about winter in Scotland. I like it when it's cold and crispy. Um, I think I think when there's like a nice light frost on the ground and the sun's coming through the trees and you just get up because I'm an early riser so um, yeah well, that's what I like about Scotland because some of the lands there's so much open space here it looks beautiful I'm going to give the kilted wiggle a go tomorrow yes Terry is that right before you run your park run or is that when you're at the, the rugby in fact yeah do it at the rugby Terry nights by the fire awesome we actually want to go kilted camping again um, I know doing it in December is stupid but it makes the fire all the more important so um, we're thinking about going camping again we're going to do a, a workout which is um, going to be specific to the cold and then we're going to get an awesome fire and uh, do the camping thing again which would be awesome spending the night in jail oh, what was that? who spent the night in jail? so sad what, what was that? Keely who spent the night in jail? Or is that a joke for something else? <laughs> I don't know. Have I been to Loch Shield? Not off the top of the head, no. Leave the cold winter and come to shine Rio de Janeiro. It's a date. Terry saying, no park run, Scotland rugby all the way. Love a good campfire. Well, Terry, you're going to come to our campfire if we have one. He could bring us some, um, I was going to say beer, but no, I don't know. I'm drink beer by the fire. Um, the problem we're going to have, though, is... Um, we want to bring our dogs when we go camping, but we're worried they're going because they constantly wrestle each other. Like, we get if we separate them and put them on leads and they'll, they'll leave each other alone. But man, we're afraid they're gonna roll into the fire. Um, yeah, moonshine here. Bring us some moonshine. So, yeah, worst case scenario, you can come and pick up our dogs. If <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We we'll pay you with moonshine. Um, but yeah, yeah, you've got to come to our, our fire. Isn't port like a fireplace drink? Oh, it might be actually. When we're next in the Lang Town, uh, we were supposed to. We usually come down on Fridays, Ryan, but we've been so busy with stuff at the moment. Um, but we haven't been down for a while, so maybe next week, week after, we'll wait and see. Uh, Daniel, do you still go read our YouTube comments? Now, Daniel, we just spent um, the last couple of hours yesterday, today, we're catching up on them all again. So, yes, we do still read them. We are catching up slowly but surely. So, you'll get replies from comments you maybe left last week or the week before, whatever. It's. The main reason we're trying to catch up is so that we can get the interesting comments again for part of our show, which was on Friday, obviously, that didn't really happen tonight. Did everybody watch um, Stephen's goal with the coaches' challenge? Did anyone watch that? No. You inspired the husband to buy a kilt, and he's Belgian. Happy days. Are you still doing your PT business in the mornings? Yep, just till lunchtime. Just till lunchtime, Gina. So we got up really early, um, do a bit of training, and kilt the coach in the afternoon. Patricia, the pups are awesome the way they wrestle each other. It starts off as awesome, Patricia, and then it just gets tiring. Um, Terry's like, no problems, Alan. Only drinking, no snacks. Um, I don't really want to leave you to go and get a snack, but I do have snacks there. Scooby snacks. Those chilies looked awful. I would be crying. I actually took one for the... I felt so bad for him. I had to eat one. I was like, I can't leave him on his own. Like, that's how good a wingman I am. And even then, I was kind of regretting that. You were horrible with the coach's challenge. <laughs> I was. And to be fair, I thought of that when he was giving me the handstand challenge. I was like, I know how it'll get him back. But I kind of, yeah, that was a dick. That was not my finest moment. Shame on me. On Snapchat. Ah, man, we don't really grasp Snapchat. I think we're not a fan of things that disappear. Uh, coach Steve, new challenge with the peppers. Goodness, Coach Rap, I didn't know I had that much status than you. Yeah, I've got issues. <laughs> Can't, coach, but he did it like a boss, right? I mean, he just got it done. He got it done. What's your favourite junk food if you like to dab on occasion bad foods? Um, just last night, Warren, I went to town on a pizza. Man, it tasted good. Oh, I ate the whole thing. It was big too. Man, I felt awesome. Uh, oh, I've lost my comments. Wait a minute. What is what does your wife think of the kilted coaches being gay sex symbols? I wouldn't say we're gay sex symbols. I think we've just got a big gay following. Um, but the analytics are actually almost even now. I think it's what's it now? Is it fifty five, forty five? Yeah, they've almost balanced out. To be fair. Any suggestions to stop eating sugar? I'm addicted to candy. My go-to um, when I'm craving sugar is peanut butter or fats, you know, so 
Um, peanut butter is usually my go-to because it's easy and just get a spoon and oh, away you go. Good job. Um, the other thing you can make up is guacamole. You want to have good fats in there because the calories need a burst of kind of energy there. Um, that's usually it. That's what I usually go to. Eat any Big Macs lately? Oh Christ, no. Not after uh, after that one. When you come to states, uh, hopefully next year, Greg, if it all goes to plan. The issue is, is that I have a baby on the way in February, um, so yeah, that'll be in February. So I'm just laughing at Joe. He's he's an analytic tells you who's gay, and not <laughs> no Joe. I meant analytics in terms of uh, male to female. That's all. Sorry. Yeah, that's not gay to straight at all. You you can't really tell that. We can only tell that by the um the the type of comments but even then you can't necessarily tell from a comment because someone can be having a laugh so um so yeah yeah you're absolutely right joey yeah you can't tell that but in terms of our analytics sorry i was referring to male to female because once upon a time there was there was a there was a different shift in it i think it was more like 70 30 male to female uh, whereas now it's balancing out so um Rab, are you guys doing another type of lean form? We've got the lean form we're running at the moment, Nadine. Um, we don't have an intermediate level as such. We've not really um, got around to that yet. It was, it was kind of in the pipeline, but we're not sure what's going to roll with it if there's a demand for it. Did my hey comment give me away? Hey comment give me away. I'm not sure if it did or not. Holly, try my balls. Did you see the video? Um, is it, if it's on Instagram, Terry, I'll need to go and check it out. Um... Even that's interesting, measure male to female followers. Yeah, Joey, it measures male to female age. It gives you an age range, everything, you know, like, tells you whether they're, I don't know, 17 to whatever, and blah, 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 blah. It can tell you what country they're from. Um, yeah, the analytics are actually pretty detailed. Everything except whether they're gear straight, etc., which we wouldn't be interested in anyway. Um, but yeah, the analytics rock sometimes. Although I don't know how that works. Because I suppose that's based on, that must only be based on the people that have a Google account, right? It just shows you how they use your information. What would be the most popular country? Really big in South America, actually. Hey, we're 49% in the States, and it's scattered. Um, another, I can't remember how big it is. Or was it the States and South America combined? Yeah. Um, but a lot in South America, believe it or not. And... And the other 50% is UK and across the world, yeah. Yeah, South America, yeah. That's a shocker, really, too. Um, various areas down there, too. So between South America and, and North America was made up about 50% of our viewing. And the rest of the world, UK is about 30% of our viewing, the rest of the world, 20. Have you ever tried Irish step dances? No. Did any of the analytic results surprise you? <laughs> Not really, Frank, to be honest, because we didn't really know what to expect when we made the channel. Um, you know, we didn't know, we had a rough idea who our viewers would be, but we didn't know rough enough, rough idea, ages of viewers, etc. So, yeah. Come to Brazil to meet some followers. We should, Clarissa, we really should. Um, we've actually got so many followers there now that we really, really should. Going to do a follow-up workout with Sean. We need to try and catch up with Sean, actually. Yeah, he's a good lad. I like Sean. Um, our collaborations with Sean was great with the collaboration with Erin. Um, just our kind of people, you know. Um, and we enjoyed it. We really enjoyed it. And we'd definitely do some again with Sean and definitely because the band, I think they're our kind of people, you know. You, it's When you do a collaboration with someone, you know, you want it to be helping each other, you know, and you don't want anyone to be selfish or out for the, out for themselves, you know. And we're very much like, we want to promote the person that we're with as much as we can because we, we're we try and help everyone you know and Sean was great with lots of tips with cameras and all sorts he was he was absolutely fantastic you know he was giving us he was he was basically um, telling us the mistakes he made in the early stages which was great and uh, it was a great video and you, I guess you saw that in the result you know because we all got on it was a good banner Erin what a hoot she's <laughs> She's a good laugh, yeah. And she's another one. Again, she made her video, we made ours. We'd definitely do something with her again. She was an absolute hoot. So we kind of follow her on Twitter, etc. and have a bit of banter there. So, um, yeah, definitely do something again. Just whether it works out in terms of timing. I don't know if it'll be before Christmas or not. You just never know. It's one of these things. Would you get special kilts? Um, you can get any kilts you want, really, um, to work out in. I'm a vegan, I was wondering whether you adjust your training to eating habits or not. Uh, not really. I mean, the only thing I would adjust training for is if um, 
like at the moment I'm kind of well apart from when I'm on the Prosecco um, trying to do like if I'm low carb I kind of the intensity of cardio goes down slightly I'm still okay with resistance training it doesn't really change but when you're low carb you can't be knocking out on the runs you just don't have the energy so you just kind of have to do a slow burn and just keep an eye on things so um, yeah I do adjust my training accordingly but uh, yeah <coughs> if you're vegan it shouldn't really matter because your protein target should remain the same you'll just get it from different sources so it shouldn't matter it shouldn't matter um, yeah the live stream with Terry and um, Holly that was a lot of fun it was good fun that was the very first show actually um, promises promises and, yeah yeah, that was a, that was a very very for show, and uh, that was a good that was good banter, but then if I remember right, I remember thinking that we should have abandoned ship about three in the morning, because I started to get quieter and quieter. I remember sitting and getting quite cold. I remember I had this tartan blanket on me, and I was listening to the banter but not really getting involved because I was getting slowly more and more tired, and I think I ended up falling asleep behind the sofa at one point, and um, I think Stephen was really animated on that one. Yeah, you were very hung hungover the next day. <laughs> um, I, I I remember feeling that steam was really animated, and I my I was just running out of steam, and I'd been up pretty early that day, and I remember just thinking, oh, I want to go for a nap somewhere, but the camera is asking me to stay on. Um, so yeah, that was it. Was good fun, but ultimately it's one of those things, you know, we should have abandoned ship at three <laughs> instead of what was it half four five whenever it was. Uh, Nadine, I don't know what to do. Maybe I need to sign up for another lean forum for moral support and coaching. What do you recommend? I don't want to start feeling getting getting comfortable again. Nadine, did you never sign up to our clan? I don't know if I've seen you on there. I don't think you have. Join up for the clan. We've got the banter going in there. Uh, when's my birthday? It's the 11th of March. So still a while off yet. Pink Gin is not my friend. You know what's funny about that, Terry, is I took the piss out of you. I was like, Pink Gin? I mean, I love gin, I love gin, but Pink Gin, I was like, man, can I go drink that? And I was laughing at you, and I actually wish I had, because I was drinking Stella. And, uh, man, that made me sick. And it's canned beer as well, ugh. Sam Hewen, hi. Night. Where did you put, could you try a US accent? I need to say something in context, wouldn't I? I'm not that great with accent. Do some ga videos with Gavin in the Shetlands. Who's Gavin in the Shetlands? Gavin in the Shetlands. I wrap Shexy beard. Mm. No, it's a wee bit longer. What's this? You should try Capri He's at the beach. Ooh. The Stella killed you. We need a trip to the Edinburgh Gin Tour. Ah, the Edinburgh Gin Tour, eh? Um, do you know Gavin Bell? Yeah, we've been in contact with Gavin Bell for a wee while now. We're going to be meeting him when we're in Edinburgh, actually, um, before we um, before we pick up our new kilts, actually. So we're going to go and pop and see him um, to have a chat with him about a few bits and pieces. So he seems like a good guy. Uh, is Stephen really going to join you shortly? I have no idea. I think he's on the train. Um, two seconds. Boom! See you later, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> oh man, you got a troll in every feed, right? Our new kilt's going to be a different colour. Eh, uh, yes, I guess. I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> um, I'll be 54 Wednesday and want to know the best way to learn down. To learn down? Oh, you have to... Peter Piper picked a pickle pickle pickle. <laughs> have I got to say that? Shit. Right. P Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> I hope you weren't wanting me to do that in American accent, because there's no fucking way I would do that. The leg work, Brian. Life is a bish. Nice job, Rab. I'm not bad, right? What's my favourite colour? Baby blue, without a doubt. And I don't actually have anything. Um, well, my daughter's book... It's kind of baby blue there, you know that colour? Yeah. Oh, Zoe's on. Zoe, you've been commenting on our videos recently. I recognise that name. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh, Christ. What kind of fish do you collect? Uh, none, actually, because they just die on me. So at the moment, I've got two bottom feeders that refuse to die, basically. Um, 
Uh, they just eat their own filth. Actually, I'm gonna, I should name them Wolverine and Logan, right? Because they're just immortal. That's the colour they paint porches in the south to fake out to fake out the insects and such. Is that right? <laughs> Did you like my book, The Ballerina and the Slug, <laughs> Gina? Um, give him shout out, people. Give who a shout out, Zoe. Who have I to give a shout out to? Hi, Rob. Where is Stephen? He, he's right there. Can you not see him? <laughs> no, no. He's 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 at an event, so that's why everything wasn't live tonight. I don't know why I didn't know my watch. Hmm. I've lost it. Not there. Never mind. Love your beard and muscles. Thank you. Thank you very much. I um, need to trim it actually. It's that itchy stage. Remember, I grew it in for Kilt Timber. It's probably the longest my beard's ever been. If you look at the Kilt Timber video, I was like, yeah, I don't suit it because I've got quite a chubby round chipmunk pus. So when the beard grows in, it just makes me look bigger. Uh, you're going to get finished the Nancy cab when you get back from vacation happy days say hello to Quincy for me Ron I'll let you say hello yourself Quincy can you see it oh there's Quincy uh, Coach Stephen got himself stuck in the atom suit <laughs> can you walk on your hands you obviously didn't watch last week's episode Riches uh, we did uh, in fact it was just last week's episode wasn't it it was um the topless Jenga party, the coach's challenge, I attempted to walk on my hands. Oh, I thought Stephen was the one next to you. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's Nala, my little bitch, who's, um, I don't know if you can see that. She's uh, out for the count. Oh, where is she? There she is. Yeah. My little bitch is out for the count, unfortunately. Uh, could you have walked on your hands if you didn't have a kilt on? To be honest with you, Gina, it's more to do with um, if I had more time to practice, because I only was allowed three attempts at each level, and it was slowly coming. <laughs> it looks like two dogs. Yeah, it does look like two dogs. Um, I was slowly getting there with it, but the balance was all off. You know, you have to get your legs up higher, and you actually need your legs going up and over the body so that your weight is going forwards. So instead, I was throwing them up and they were wanting to come back down. It was, it was useless, you know. It was one of those things. It was a good challenge actually because it was close, but no cigar, which sucked. It sucked badly. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, fucking love sneezing. <gasps> what was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> she loves me sneezing too. <coughs> was that sneeze? Achoo! 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 <laughs> Come on. Three. Oh. There you are. She loves it when I sneeze. Right, I'm down to my last twenty percent of battery before I die. Uh, oh my God, Rab's hairy body is everything. That's just for Gabe, but who wanted to sniff the underarm? <laughs> you don't want to sniff my underarm, was it? That's just not that bad tonight. But it's been worse. It's been worse. About to head out to my own Friday night festivities. We'll have a nice night, Joey. And he's got the whiskey. Well, actually, Joey, your challenge is to have one of each of those. So you need some champagne, beer, whiskey, um, a cocktail, red wine, and a martini. That's your mission, Joey. One of each. Six drinks. Mixing them all. You're going to have a hangover tomorrow. You can thank me later. Really chuffed about my new Kilty Coaches t-shirts. They look awesome. Happy days, Trisha. If you take a photo of you wearing one, um, tag us in. We will give you a shout out. Oh no, one of each. Go for it, Joey, you wild man. If you haven't followed Joey's uh, Instagram, follow Joe Gugal on. He has some awesome fashion images. Actually, it's one of those pleasant things on your newsfeed when you scroll through. You're like, man, this is awesome. You know when you get those people you follow on Instagram or for any, whether it's Twitter, and some people just post some cool stuff and some people post nonsense. But, you know, when you've got somebody who posts cool stuff, you're like, man, that's pretty cool. And just kind of... It's a nice thing to scroll through, you know. Um, just remember to hydrate, Joey Gallon, yep. And if you get really bad, Joey, go to the waterfall. Happy days. Oh, actually, once it passes 12 o'clock, remember I'll do Spot the Scot. Now, Spot the Scot is really good in the sense that you've all got to find the Scot and um, comment haggis. But we need people to share it. That's the whole point. Or tag your friends, one or the other. Um, I think our record is like 15 shares or something. So we need to break that record on the next one. Now, the one t tomorrow is a very, very cheeky one, so it's easy to share. So, um, yeah, share this shit out of it. Be a good sport and share it. So that'll go, I'll put it on when I come off this feed. I'll do the spot the scope and get that sorted. 
So yeah, do it. Do it. My bitch has gone to sleep. I've shared the spot the Scott. Happy days, Gina. When do the new kilts make their debut? Hopefully the 22nd. Hopefully the 22nd. Um, yeah, 22nd. With any luck, if not, then after. Take your shirt off. No. <laughs> I'm on my own. I'm not going to sit here with my shirt off. It just seems like a, I don't know, something I shouldn't do, probably. My daughter might run through and be like, Daddy, Daddy, you're the Hulk. I shared it last week. I think that was the first spot the squat I actually found. That every every Saturday morning, Frank. Right, Rab, I'm off to my scratcher to get us your bed. Big game tomorrow. Have fun. Did you just do a... You just did a Spock thing. You geek, Terry. Did you watch Star Trek? Tell me you did. I'll love you forever if you did. Or was that just pure chance? I know I'm all right. Don't worry about Ole, Ole. Love Star Trek. Good for you, Terry. Boom. Live long and prosper and all that jazz. Yeah, Ole. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. I usually walk around topless anyway. But I just think I'd feel a bit cheesy sitting here with my top off. If I was standing topless, and for some reason sitting topless, maybe it's just I'm being superficial because when you sit down, everything flumps. You know, whereas when you're standing tall. Actually, Monday's video, which we're filming today, um, is all about being tall. Can we still get a calendar if we sign up? Um, we've got our calendars almost complete for 2018, actually. We don't have those. We did a three-monthly calendar giveaway. It was a donation-based thing, uh, but we don't have them anymore. Um, the files are just being chucked away. Um, but, yeah, the 2018 calendar is almost good to go. So... Uh, Star Trek Discovery on Netflix is really good. Yes, it is, Trisha. I need to get caught up on it. I've watched three episodes. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's really interesting because the main girl in it is called Michael. It takes a bit to get used to, right? What's the difference between going topless or not? Well, generally we go topless for our show. Um, just because we like to get a pump on. I don't know, actually, know why. Just be a bit freer. There really is no difference. Um... Have you done your measurements recently? Have you seen a big change if you have? Um, for me, it was all to do with definition anyway, Gina. So it was all about, more about the mirror check, if you like. I wasn't too worried about gaining size. I'm never really, really worried about size. I feel I used to be a lot bigger than I am now. So I was never, I wasn't cardio fit when I was bigger. So for me, size is irrelevant. It's just conditioning I want. Whereas Stephen's all about bulking up because he, he's a bit more of a hard gainer than I am. So. Health and happiness, go to what you want to go to, right? I'd love to see you on Netflix. <laughs> one day, one day. You never know. You never know. Well, since I have been voted the sexiest man alive, apparently, so go on Twitter and read that blog. <laughs> it's the funniest blog I've ever... It's actually a well-put-together blog piece, to be fair. I can't believe somebody actually went out of their way to do that. <laughs> Would you ever give acting a try? Gina... It's a funny one because we've had offers come through based on our Kilty Coachy stuff for acting jobs, but Stephen and I are more about what we do with the Kilty Coaches. We're not trying to make ourselves famous individually, like as, as a person, you know, it's like, you know, if we wanted to appear in anything, we'd want to appear as the Kilty Coaches with our kilts on and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We want to appear with trousers on and a beard and a mask and a hat and just not be ourselves. Um, so no, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting because I, I guess a lot of these actors they they start off grassroots, they get paid the crummy money, and they build their way up, and they do their hard time, and they they really try, and they learn to sing and dance and all this kind of stuff. And we've just not done any of that. So in some ways, yeah, unless they were paying us good money for it, it just wouldn't be worth it. Would you ever give singing a try? Singing in public? Yeah, sure. You've obviously not seen some of my attempts at singing. <laughs> Um, I would do it for a banner, right? What well, upcoming movies are you looking forward to? Star Wars, uh, Last Jedi, really looking forward to that. Um, I would love to come to New Zealand. Zoe, I've actually got family in New Zealand, so um, that would definitely be on the cards. You could be Sansa's new love and interest in Game of Thrones. I love Sansa Stark, I really, really do. Hmm. Anyway, stay focused. <laughs> Apply for Outlander cast. Good shout. Could potentially do. Would you all model kilts if asked? Of course, because then we'd still be the kilted coaches. That'd be awesome. 
Hells, yeah. Oh, that means you won't be in Game of Thrones. They don't wear kilts. Well, we could wear a... A skirt? <laughs> They'd make a character for us to have a kilt on. I'd love to see him with snow. Jon Snow, what a legend. I'm able to see the comment stream, but no video. Well, I don't know what's happening, Ken. You must have a problem with your connection. Everybody else is managing it, so... Maybe just refresh it. Good old classic. Is it going to be a calendar? Uh, yes, hopefully out soon. It'll be all over. We'll put it on our um, Twitter, Facebook. Um, so that's fine. Size matters so, so, so bad. Uh, well, fair play. Though I must concur. It's funny. I'm also people are making the joke about size matters, right? And I, they're obviously referring to something else. However, when it comes to bulk and all that kind of nonsense personally because I've been chunkier um, I don't like being too big it's just you're not athletic I, I don't have a large frame if you're a big guy anyway then yeah good for you you're born that way your frame can carry it but I used to carry a lot more muscle than I do now and I wasn't healthy muscle demands oxygen and blood so when you try and do um you know, you're very explosive, you're very powerful, but your longevity isn't there because you're, you're using so much oxygen, so much energy, so much blood. So to be bad for cardiovascular fitness, or combination cardiovascular and um, endurance, etc., you, you kind of don't want to be too bulky. Um, so when people say, oh, bigger is better, or this whole bodybuilding time, a lot of these big bodybuilders that are packed the layers of muscle, they can't do a lot with it, you know? If you got in the boxing ring with them and tried to go five rounds of even of three minutes, they'd be gassed. They'd be strong and powerful for round one. Their muscles get pumped up. And then round two or three, you'd have them. You'd have them because they just wouldn't be able to keep pace with you. Um, now that's different if the person has a large frame. So that's different because a larger frame you can pack the muscle on and then naturally a bigger bone and then can carry the weight better. But for some of me, I don't actually have a large frame, believe it or not. So um, it's, you know, when I, I put too much muscle on for my frame, I think. So now I sit around 210 pounds, which I think is still chunky for my frame, but, you know, not too bad. Like I've still got a 32 inch waist. So. For me, that's that's good. When I was heavier, I went up to 17 stone, which is 240. And that was just too much for my frame, you know. It's, it wasn't great, you know. It was here, I was snoring all the time. Sleep wasn't great. Trying to run 10K, man, it was such an effort. I was very explosive and fast, but I don't know how many sprints you get out of me. It wasn't, it wasn't ideal, you know. And you see it, I see it time and time again. I follow the mixed martial arts. And you'll see the kind of heavier muscle guys and they come in and unless they win in the first round you're like yeah he's getting tired and he visibly slows down it tends to be i mean if you look at um even heavyweight boxers now a lot of them have a lot of the heavyweights are not necessarily chiseled like action men they they've got a decent size about them but ultimately they're they've got a little bit more fat making up the weight because it's fat isn't greedy muscle is um, raps got back now I'm down to my last ten percent. Ten percent, Captain. Sounds like something bloody Star Trek. They always talk about percentages in that movie, right? Um, how tall is you, and what's your weight? I am five foot nine and two hundred and ten pounds. Plug it in. I my charger won't reach where I'm going. Plus, I'm going to use the battery as a method to to sack it, so can't stay on forever, right? What's your waist measurement? Thirty two inch waist. Can't do anything about your bones, right? Um, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right, I think I'm going to abandon ship now when the chat's kind of did all the way to nothing. Um, we've had fun, so we've only been on for an hour and 20 minutes. Happy days. Um, we see your hairy chest again, fair play. Okay. <laughs> That's Quincy. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. So again, this was an impromptu because we missed it out. Uh, if you haven't, oh yes, so keep your old eyes peeled for Spot the Scott. I'm going to be posting that very shortly. Um, and next week's show will be back to normal with another coach's challenge. Stephen will have control. So I think he's, yeah, I think he's going to try and get me back for that whole pepper thing. 
chilly thing even. Christ. I'm in trouble, I reckon. So, um, but I can handle it. Um, so, yeah. Right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.